Getting ready to move the horse fencing. Dean's out there working. We're getting all the pegs, the electric wire, and these things right here. So I'm gonna set the time lapse and me and Arlo are gonna start carrying them closer to the house. So wish us luck. million ways to do this better but uh, this is what me and Jean's brain came up with that's dangerous This is our first house right here. We're gonna stop with our two inch line somewhere in this area. And I'll go ahead and run a water line up to it somewhere. 
That way I can just stub out a three quarter line. So when we get to that house, we're all set up and good to go. And I don't have to get a trencher or do any of that, hook it up. It's just right there and ready to go. I'm going to trench through here. I'm not going to go down my road over here. I'm going to stay on this side and go all the way through to the left side of my barn. That way I can plug my barn in and keep going on down. So now I've got to clear because I want to stay on this side of the road without having to cross the road because he's up there. So I'm going to stay over here and cut a couple of those trees down. Um, that way he can just get it right alongside that road and we can not have to cross this road and not with hard angles with the pipe and just keep it all it's uniform and cut as much linear foot out uh, that we use as possible. So let's go check on, make sure he's in the right spot still. out like that right there and i'm sure that i think they're 20 foot sticks i'm gonna get i'm sure they'll go in just fine but just have to kind of wait and see all right guys so we called a ton of places today uh trying to figure out where to get um uh, trencher and they're not hard to get but trying to get the right one and I was curious on which one I should get if I should get a walk behind or not because I've used them before and they are pretty quick um, and they've got ones with little pedals on the back you can walk behind but um, I was like I don't know we've got so much to do we got to put a two inch line and it's got to be pretty dang deep I want it deeper than it needs to be so if we do grading and dirt work in the future in certain areas we don't run into a problem of it not being deep enough so a 36 inch one I was like I don't think it's going to be good enough um, Cause some places i probably want it to be four foot deep if i can make it happen so um we went all around to find a ride behind and i actually ended up having to get another trailer because my small trailer has one axle on it and i only want it, i don't want to pull over 1500 pounds with it and that's really pushing it so i ended up going all the way back home getting my big dump trailer and we found a 5400 pound machine uh that you ride on and i'm glad we did because this would have been a weak project where they walk behind so i'm going to spin this around and let y'all look at what we've got going here. This is our beast of a machine that we've got here. We've done dozens. Trench, but the camera doesn't really get adjusted, but it's a huge thing. And I'll probably come back and like cut this out from this angle a couple times so we can get in here and do some work. So today's essentially a lot of walking around. I've been on the phone with uh, multiple people at the same time right now. Of course, I've got work going on as well. But I'm walking, I'm talking with the water department to figure out what kind of materials they want me to use for my two inch line. And I just passed my other house where I'm going to reduce it to a three quarter inch line. That way I can run my barn off of it, which is just water for the horses every now and again. So I'm not worried about it utilizing too much. And then past my barn will be my house, which a three quarter line would supply that one bedroom perfectly fine or more just fine. So. I'm marking that with spray paint. So I'm gonna grab the side-by-side, -side, run back up there. There's a couple trees I need to cut out of the way so he can come through with the uh, machine. And that way it ensures him uh, to where he can just keep working and keep going to make sure he's uh, staying on the right track. So uh, I think it's out of diesel. Let's uh, head back up there. All right, guys, we're day two. This is um, our fixtures here. Of course, I haven't got it plumbed up, you know, yet, but this one right here will go to that house, and this one right here will go down that trail to the barn, which is over there, and then the house, which is past that. So 
I'm doing this that way I have enough supply for both these houses here. And if I end up building more houses or more things over here in the future, I can always tie onto this and uh, put more water lines in because I'll have enough supply at that point. So I had one more pipe to get me a little bit further, but I don't really care, honestly. It might be a little bit better for it to, to be away from it. Um, but that's going to go right there. And then I'll just, you know, bring it to that house in the next one. The extra pipe that I had uh, bent. I think he bent it with the forklift when he put it in. So I think that's what had happened to that. So that's going to go there. So I've got all this pipe glued together. About halfway down, it's already dropped in over there by the uh, side by side, which you probably can't see. Over there. There's the side by side. So I run all that pipe just now. And then yesterday, I did the, uh, the other pipe. So I'm going to go check on Christopher. He's running the trencher and trenched a bunch of stuff over there. So, and I did remember too this morning, I've run and get, I've got to get a, I think probably inch and a quarter conduit and um, run that to the shop so I can have lights and basically lights as maybe a fan or something like that. What's the goal of that to run? So I'm going to get that so I can run uh, wire through it. Um, of course before i buried this pipe also the goal is here to get this water hooked up one so i can water my horses my sister brought me water yesterday and that's kind of the main goal to get the water horses watered but i'm just going to kind of rig it together and plug it up to the three quarter inch supply because clearly this is a two inch line they're going to put a new meter in here soon that's going to cost i think fourteen hundred dollars so um i'm gonna hook it up regardless so i can pressure test it let pressure test it for at least a day, I think, and then come back and maybe bury it tomorrow. That's kind of the goal. So let's run up here and check on him. So far, Jane and I have loaded all these, and now we just loaded a giant wood burner onto the tractor. We're going to try to unload it in here as painless as possible. I'm not going to video this because it might be embarrassing. Thursday. I just got off work about an hour ago. Out here working at our house. She crop is done. So, so far I have vacuumed out, busted out all the places that they filled with mud of accident. And then now 
I'm sponging down the walls. Having, I can't reach that high. So that one with paint, I'm not picking up any of the sheet breakfast. That I'm done painting, I'm starting to pull up the carpet. There's like really cool looking something 